Are you ready? I'm fucking, I'm fucking hot. <laughs> How do I look? Do I look cheap? Yeah, you do. Alright. You're not gonna stop me? You're supposed to go, get away from me. No, I don't want it to go away. That's the question. I'm, I'm multitasking. I can multitask. Sorry. You don't have any questions for me? How'd you start? How'd you get involved with the band? Are you one of the founders? No. How did that work out? Um, I was going to college, Kansas University, and I had been in another band in Florida previously. And uh, is, that, is that it? That's it. It looks good. All right. <laughs> and I had been in a, a band in Florida previously, and some of the guys had lived with me, and they called me and asked me if I wanted to come and play, and I had heard their music before, and I said, you're fucking right, I want to play for Order by Chaos. And so, uh, I got a plane ticket down two days later, and I've been in the band ever since. And, uh, cause they had heard me play guitar and bass, and they wanted a second guitarist, which I eventually became the only guitarist before we added Eric. And, uh, you know, I've been hanging out ever since. Drinking beer. Pretty much, you write a lot of the, the music parts. We all write. I, I, it's usually... I'll come up with the main riff or Eric Will on guitar, and we'll go from there. Or if Squiggy has a good beat that he came up with or programmed in. How's my eyes? Do I look cheap now? Yeah. Good. I wish I had a mirror. Do you have a mirror? Do you get along with everybody? Go, go through the band and like, tell me what you think about it. No, I don't get along with anybody in the band. Really? No, not at all. They hate me and I hate them, but it's mutual love because it's music. But like we don't hang out outside the van, except every day. You know, we're like a big married couple. We say we don't hang out, but we're together every day. You know, we're like, no, we don't ever hang out with them. Who are you with? I'm like, well, I'm with Todd. You know, I'm with I'm with Eric. I'm with Mikey. I'm with Squiggy or Numi or whoever. You know, we're always together doing our own thing. What you grow up listening to? Um, Twisted Sister, commercial metal at the time, most likely, and then. Uh, I made a big crossover, started skateboarding, and uh, made a big crossover to rap, old school, you know, some real old school, well, it's old school now, but, you know, EPMD, Eric B and Rakim, you know, the goods, back in the day when the Cool Mo D and LL Cool J used to fight, that sort of shit. You know, some other stuff too, uh, Tim Dog, NWA early stuff. That's about it. I listen to everything. Judas Priest. Uh, there was a real metal fan growing up. Never listened to metal. Priest was about as hard as a got. I always listened to like 80s alternative. You know, like Cindy Lauper. You know, She Bop and all that shit, you know? Seriously? Yeah. You know, Peter Gabriel. You know, I like that sort of thing. Uh, talking Heads, Yes. The first time I remember, I don't, fuck, what are they called? Um, ah, hell. Can't even remember their name right now. Yeah, so fuck it. I guess I didn't even like them. <laughs> they suck. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, where do you want this to go? I mean, do you, how, where do you want this to go slash how confident are you that this band is actually going to get signed and, and go tour and all that? Like, how far do you want to go? How far do you expect it to go? Shut the fuck up! I'm doing an interview! <laughs> um, that, that's going to come out a little loud on the mic. Yeah, I think a lot of it. <laughs> uh... They just, you know, I think that this band is going everywhere. Uh, you know, the band started six years ago with Marshall and Todd. It's gone through its ups, its downs. Uh, 50 different members in this band, inside and out. This lineup is the best lineup of musicians I've ever played with in my life. We, you know, we do our thing together very well. We get along sometimes. 
Yeah, we get along a lot more than sometimes, but we're a family, and there's seven of us plus three or four road crew. It's not going to be pretty all the time, but we make it work every time we get together. You make it work, and you say, you know, when you're done, everybody hugs. Before you go on, everybody hugs, and it's family when you're up there. You know, it's like that's all there is. You know, there's you versus the audience. You gotta, you gotta beat the audience. You gotta let them know that we're up here cranking it out for you know whatever they pay to get in. And that's what we go up there and do, 110%. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a band anymore. And if someone slips down 110%, we give them a talking to. So then we fight. But it's always because we want to keep at this level that all these bands aren't at. You know, like, we're an unsigned band doing what we do. And we do it better than a lot of people, you know? I think we do it better than everybody. Because it's my band, you know. But so that's a little bit silly. But you know, and, and I'm a little bit biased. But we do our thing. <laughs>